Hello everybody! Welcome to another Valheim video. Today we're going to be learning all about lag in Valheim. And I'm not just going to tell you to change your graphic settings. No, I'm going to assume you've already done that. First, we need to address the elephant in the room. Because there's some rumors going around. You know how the hoe has this raised ground feature? And you can terraform with it? And people are terrified of this. I, I don't mean to be offensive, but this hasn't been an issue for over two years. And if you don't believe me, just go to Reddit and read this reply by Maya Omkara. Or you can just go to the description of the video, I posted it there. They tested it ages ago and showed that it's basically irrelevant now. So the fact that we're still worried about terraforming affecting our frame rate and latency is pretty comical, to be honest. So now, let's get into where lag really comes from. You see, in Valheim, there's instances. And everything is sort of boiled down to an instance. And if you press F2 on the computer, you can see how many instances are in your loaded zone. Right now, there's 111. So a simple way to put this would be, oh, you just look at your instances. But unfortunately, not all instances are created equal. The three things you see here, we have a build piece, a campfire, and a wolf. However, these all take very different amounts of resources. So in this video, I'm going to show you how this affects lag, and this is not a perfect test. What I'm doing is establishing a rough comparison for how many build pieces equal a campfire equals an AI. So our goal here is gonna to be to tank the FPS from the 60 lock down and I'm gonna record how many pieces I had to build. First, I started out with this sort of thing, but that wasn't enough. So we upgraded to this sort of thing and we finally managed to clip into our FPS a little bit. But well, there we go, we finally did it. It only took a whopping 13,000 instances. I'd round it down to, let's say, 12,000 instances. That's probably a solid metric for our rough test here. 12,000 instances it is. So here we are. We're back at a healthy 82 instances and our FPS is back at right at 60. Our next focus will be the humble campfire. Now, there's a lot more going on here with the campfire, so you'll see it's much easier to tank your FPS with any kind of lighting. And to properly do this test, you have to make sure that your graphic settings have active point lights and active point light shadows set to infinite. Because otherwise, it's, it's literally just gonna turn them off. So they'll become regular build pieces with smoke particle effects, basically. You can control campfire lag by setting your point lights and your point light shadows to really low. So we can see we have our one campfire and our FPS is still pretty close to 60. And now we have five campfires and now we have 15 campfires. So here we are, you can see our FPS is hovering around 30, 29, and we are at 80 campfires to hit that point. That means our benchmark for campfires, roughly 80 campfires is equal to 12,000 instances. And you can see here that I tanked the FPS, right, when I'm looking at these campfires. You can see that it goes to 30 when I'm looking at them, but my instance count is only 142 showing that it's totally possible to lag a bunch without having that many instances. But again, just to be clear about that campfire setting or the fireplaces and torches in general, you can control that lag, just set your active point lights and active point light shadows to as low as possible for your PC to handle. And that's gonna make a huge difference on lower end PCs because the lighting effects are really what tax them so much. Now for the real star of the show, AI. AI is basically any creature that can chase or behave in any way. Here we have 10 wolves and they immediately ran off and killed that certling, so you can tell they're still behaving. And if we look at our FPS, it looks pretty unaffected. Almost no instances, but, but here we have 100 wolves. Uh, I'm actually kind of surprised how well, whoa, whoa. <laughs> it's like a swarm of fish. <laughs> All right, there we go. We can see that it is around 250 wolves that it takes to bring my frame rate down. And watch what happens when something's nearby and they actually start behaving. Well, the frame rate goes down, right? 
So I'm going to count this as 250 wolves is our comparison metric. Now, there's something I want to make very clear to you, because this all goes totally out the window in multiplayer. This is only possible the way I've shown you because this is a single player world. I'm not on a server. The moment you are near another player and there's AI around, a snowballing effect happens because the AI's location has to be updated to you and to the player and then it has to bounce back and it has to wait. And there's all of this lag that comes out of this process. It's like a lag machine. You could not do this in multiplayer. It would absolutely wreck. The moment there were two or three other players around, just it wouldn't work. Trust and there me. we have it. Now you see that for a rough experiment, which definitely needs more research, you can assume that instances are not created equal. You have to make sure that you understand where the lag comes from in Valheim. It's approximately 12,000 build pieces to 80 light and smoke sources to 250 enemies. And if you want to support my work, consider renting your own dedicated Valheim server at Zap Hosting using my link, JP Valheim. You can also like this video or any other Valheim video, and that'll tell YouTube that you want to see more of this kind of content.